Hello people of Booktube, Dane here and welcome to another bookish video. This one's a bit author tubey as well. Uh, you'll have seen from the title, this is why I post negative reviews. Dane reads. Uh, there are two aspects to this question. The first aspect is why I post negative reviews of books that I read and it's because I didn't like them. I, I'm just honest with my reviews. If I enjoyed a book, I'll say so. If I didn't enjoy a book, I'll say so. So that is that question dealt with. What I actually want to talk about is why I post negative reviews of my own books on social media. So if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram and those, like, I've been posting reviews of my books. And um, a little while back, I posted a negative re review. I don't actually think it was that negative. Let me find this review, actually. It was by Ollie Jacobs, who is an indie author friend who I admire. Uh, and he reviewed my book, Come On Up To The House, and let's see what he said. He said, so there's no star rating, just a review. As far as I remember, there might have been a star rating. Um, and he said, not for me, I appreciate the author's style, but it did not click, DNF. So I posted that uh, alongside some other reviews to my Facebook page and I got a message from somebody, an artist friend, saying I don't understand why you posted that. It's not doing you any favours. And there are many reasons why I post it. One, I've told myself I'm going to post all of the reviews that I get, so I'm slowly working my way through all of them. That includes the good and the bad. That includes the ones that my ex-girlfriend wrote uh, when we broke up, even though she hadn't read the books. That includes the reviews I got under fake names from people who retaliated because I posted two or three stars of their books and they decided to leave a one star review of mine uh, that even includes the one where somebody gave me two stars and said I can't wait to pick this up and I'm just like what that's a weird thing to post but okay um, and yeah there are different reasons I mean one of them is the um Again, the first one, I suppose, is that I want to post every review that I've got. It's kind of a challenge I've set myself. Um, I also don't like the habit that people have of like airbrushing their social media and only posting the good stuff. So, I mean, I post about my mental health and things like that on my social media. Um, the hope being that it will help other people to realise that they're not alone. And I think it's important. I mean, I'm followed by a lot of students who follow me because I work as a writing coach for one of my clients. And a lot of those see it as well. And I want them to see, you know, you will get negative reviews. It's actually a rite of passage for an author. Once you get your first negative review, you can kind of say that you've made it, you know. Um, so I kind of want them to see that, you know, I get negative reviews as well. Everybody does. There are negative reviews of Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter and Pride and Prejudice and Tolstoy and all of this stuff. Um, you know, people make YouTube videos where they read one-star reviews of their favourite books. Taste is subjective, you know. And I kind of want to reflect that in what I post. The other thing is that there are actually studies that have shown that occasional negative reviews actually encourage people to trust products more. The idea being if you go on a Amazon page or whatever and you see a book has only got five star reviews, you're going to think those are all just from the author's friends and family. If you see it's got a mixture of mostly five and four stars but the occasional one and two star review, you're going to trust it a lot more because you're going to assume that those reviews uh, you know more balanced more fair the actual genuine product reviews and I guess the final reason why I do it as well is why the fuck not really like I'm not so uh, butthurt by negative reviews that it, it makes me cry or upset or anything like that um, I think negative reviews are just as valid as positive reviews and I think again this one like I don't even see it as particularly negative like you know he just didn't he appreciate the style but it didn't click for him so he didn't finish it fine you know that happens not everybody is gonna love every book that you write as an author and I think that's healthy to acknowledge that um, so I just don't see why I wouldn't I guess I was actually surprised to get this message from somebody like being like why would you post that it's like gonna hurt your sales and stuff and it's like mate if it hurts my sales I'm gonna make 10 sales this week instead of you know 11 or whatever I don't know I'm not gonna give you actual figures because I don't think that is the done thing but suffice to say that I'm not making enough from my books to make a full-time living out of it anyway maybe if I was and you know posting a negative review risk me not being able to pay my rent or something maybe that would be different as it is I'm not in that position so again I, d I don't see why I wouldn't post it so it's one of those where after this guy sent me this message because I've been up all night as well me being me and I was trying to sleep and I was like I can't sleep and it was because it was going around in my head I was like is it not obvious why I would uh, why I would post a negative review to be honest I don't see why more people don't do it I, I guess Again, that reason they think it's going to hurt their sales. Fuck your sales, man. Like, <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I don't write books to get rich, you know? Um, and I think, again, just posting a negative review, it also just makes people trust the positive reviews more. That's kind of what I said when I posted it. I was like, here's some further proof that I don't only post the positive reviews. I post all reviews. Um, and again, actually, that's made me think of another point that I wanted to say, which was that 
I want people to leave reviews even if they're negative and I think there's a risk that maybe people who follow me on social media might be hesitant to post a negative review if they've not enjoyed one of my books and I want to show by sharing the negative reviews all reviews are welcome all feedback is welcome um, you know your job as a reviewer isn't to please me as the author it's to share your experience inform other readers and actually if I can take something from it and learn from it great if not not to worry and like the volume of reviews that I get to me is more important than whether they're positive or negative because I'm going to keep writing even if all of my reviews are negative I would still keep writing but if I get 10,000 negative reviews at least it means I'm probably selling some books you know but again not that selling is the name of the game so yeah because I couldn't sleep I decided I was going to film this video I made no notes for it I've literally just turned the camera on and rambled and I hope that's clarified a few things for people who might be wondering that question um, I'd love to hear your thoughts so let me know in the comments like whether first off let me know whether you post negative reviews of the books that you read and if you're a writer let me know if you would ever share negative reviews of your own books as well I would uh, I'd be keen to keep that discussion going in the meantime as always if you've enjoyed this video please hit that like button hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye you can hit the dislike button if you want to as well. It, it doesn't really matter. It all helps. It all helps the algorithm. <laughs>